Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a soggy and cool morning here in not so sunny West Virginia. Rained quite a bit last night, which is good news. That means I'll get to uh, mow my grass today. I'm so excited. If it clears up a little bit, hopefully, if it doesn't rain again. It's a bit wet right now, but welcome. This is my humble channel. You can check out the description box below to find out what we're all about. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. A bit wordy, but it's okay. If you are a if you're a lurker, if you're brand new, if you've been here a minute, <clears throat> just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't hurt. It's completely anonymous. It doesn't tell me who you are if your account's anonymous. So, you can still remain anonymous if you want to be anonymous. We've got a whole lot of clucking going on inside today from our, our humble chicken flock. I'm glad it rained because it was starting to look a bit, uh, a bit sad and shabby in here. Looks like some of the grass is starting to come back. They really... I think I'm going to fix something up out here. I think I'm going to put something like over here that goes from here to here. Of course, this is not my fence, so I'm not gonna make it a permanent fixture or anything. Maybe put like a pole right up against the fence or some way to keep a piece of something to keep chickens in right here, a piece of wire or chicken wire. <clears throat> they have this like floppy like emergency fence stuff. And then I was gonna put something like right here. So they would have this whole area. Look at all this green, green grass. They would tear this up. But just like, you know, once every two or three days or something, let them out and let them have some fresh grass. I also thought about doing that on the other side, too. <clears throat> I had to put these bricks down because this piece of, of uh, rabbit wire kept popping up. See my wet shoes. <laughs> so I had, to, I had to take evasive maneuvers and do that <clears throat> it's mental monday and i want to tell you something that is very mental i baked a loaf of bread oh, oh, oh. that's right i baked a loaf of bread <clears throat> so i found this stuff i've, I've been researching wheat and the, the different flours that we use um, in our food and um, one of the things that I found was that most of the wheat that we have, like 99.9% .9 of the wheat that we use is all hybridized and genetically modified. Like it's been, it's been, they, we've been modifying our wheat for a very, very long time. And I think it's gotten to the point, I think that's why we have so many gluten allergies, like why this whole gluten thing has come about like in the last 20 or 30 years, because the wheat that we're eating is not the wheat that we were supposed to eat. The wheat that we're eating is not the wheat that we started out eating. And so now we have just changed it and changed it and changed it to the point where we don't tolerate it anymore, or some of us don't tolerate it anymore. I think that's another reason as well for... Um, uh, the reason that the keto diets work so well for people, I think that um, a, a side effect of these new wheats and the new types of glutens that are coming out, um, combining those things with preservatives that they put on the bread to make it last 100 years instead of rotting and, you know, us throwing it away as we should. I think that all that it's like a deadly combination for some people. I think in some people it causes obesity, it causes heart disease, it causes di diabetes. I think our bodies just don't know what to do with it. So I started doing a bunch of research on this, and <clears throat> I found something called icorn flour. That's right, Finkel and icorn or icorn is that is that the name? I swear it's the name from uh, from uh, Ace Ventura. Anyway, um, icorn E I K. H O R N, icorn flour. Um, it's expensive. There's a company out there called Jovial. Um, if you buy it on Amazon, I think it's like seven dollars a pound. Um, but I, there's a little health food store here in town, and I picked up a two-pound bag of it. And I, um, I'm pretty sure I did not pay that much for it. So I think if you buy it on Amazon, you're paying a lot for it because it's heavy. It's very dense, dense, dense flour. Um, one thing I can highly recommend, if you do journey into icorn flour, make sure that you get a scale that measures in grams. And because it's, it packs, like it's, it's not like, it's not 
like normal flower. <laughs> She's not like one of the other girls. Um, it's different. It's it's very, very cakey. It, it packs very, very easily. I don't think it would sift very well. None of the recipes I've used so far has called for it to be sifted, but I don't think it would... <sighs> Oswald, you are weird. Anyway, I, nothing, none of the recipes that I've used so far have called for um, it to be sifted. Everything that I've read, all the recipes that I've used it for or read. I have, I've only used it for one recipe or two recipes, but I've read a lot about, read a lot of recipes using it, and all of them say to make sure to weigh the flour rather than to measure it if you can, um, because measuring it is not accurate because of how much it packs in. Um, so I made a loaf of bread with this icorn flour, um, <clears throat> and I've experimented with making bread before, right? And I suck at it. I'm horrible at kneading the dough. I don't know what the hell I do to that dough, but it doesn't, it never, it never raises properly. It never works out, right? And we'll see if we have any eggs. So, um, last night I was reading some things about this icorn flour and I saw this, it was just an easy recipe for icorn, uh, sandwich bread. So I was like, all right, and I looked at it, and it had like six ingredients. It, no need for a mixer. Everything was hand-mixed, and it looked so simple and easy. I was like, I'm going to make this. So I went upstairs, and I made it, <clears throat> and it was delicious and easy, and it came out perfectly, just like these beautiful eggs. Look at that, you guys. Two of them, first thing in the morning. Wow, that one feels really light, but this one is Mondo egg, is it not? Right on. Okay, so here's the Favrils. They haven't left this box since I put them in here. They won't leave it. The chickens are, it's their favorite box. I, oh, what's this? Oh, we're going to have another one here real soon. You guys need to get out of that box. The other, ch that's the other chicken's favorite box. Come on, Laddie. No need to no need to be getting out. Oh, and Laddie. Oh my god, you guys. This is the beginnings of a freaking egg factory. You realize that we could have up to 14 eggs a day. <laughs> That's right. Look at look at these. Look at that first thing. Thank you, girls. Thank you, girls. You pecone cheek cones. That's so awesome. So anyway, back to the icorn bread. It was like six ingredients. It was um, that, that flour, um, sugar, salt, which I used pure cane sugar. I used that, um, I can't remember the name brand, but it's, it's, uh, it's pure cane sugar. It's not, it's not like, like uh, stupid sugar. Um, olive oil, water, yeast. Yeah, that's what it, that's what was in it. It was flour, water, yeast, salt, sugar. Yeah. Oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Flour, water, yeast, salt, sugar, oil. That was it. And uh it was freaking delicious. Like my mom wanted three pieces. <laughs> She was just, and it's heavy. It's very dense. It's very heavy, but it rose perfectly it, because less is more with this bread. The glutens, from what I was reading, the glutens are, are very like, they don't stretch. They're not as stretchy. So you don't need it hardly at all. Like you just, you, you, I like, I needed it. I barely stirred it up. Like it said, it said, mix your ingredients in all of your liquids, everything but the flour and the salt, uh, mix them all up, uh, throw in your flour, sprinkle the salt on top of it, mix that up until it makes like a wet dough, a very, very wet dough. Chickens of the jungle. Um, until it makes a very wet dough, let it rise for 40 minutes or 45 minutes, I think, let it proof, and then, um, Stick that uh, on your counter with a very, very small amount of flour. Dust, dust your counter real, like, it said like two tablespoons of flour. 
to use that on the on the table not to use more than that um, because the dough will pack into your flour and you'll get like um, chunks of flour in your loaf um, so use two tablespoons of flour to dust off your counter throw your loaf on the counter after the proofing um, put it into the shape of a loaf just very very briefly work it into the shape of a loaf again less is more when you're handling it and then throw it in a very very well greased very well greased loaf pan um, put uh, paper over to or um, plastic wrap over top of that like but you want to like grease your plastic wrap the the side that's going to be touching or potentially touching the loaf because it will stick really really easily if you don't do that so grease your um, piece of plastic wrap wrap it tightly over top of the loaf pan let that rise for 30 minutes and then stick it in the oven for 40 minutes and it was freaking delicious there's the tiny little butt of the, of the loaf of bread left up there i had the crust that's all i had was the heel off of the bread <laughs> one tiny little sliver and i was cutting it in such tiny little slices because you know it's expensive it's expensive bread even though I made it, it's it's still like you know, not cheap because it it because the amount of flour that it used was a pound, so it was 450 grams and that's a pound or 430 maybe I'm not sure, but it yeah it was almost a pound of the stuff so yeah, but it was delicious and I'm I'm hoping that like it didn't make me feel like crap after I ate it but again I only ate that one little heel. Um, everybody seems happy with it. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to kind of, cause I've, I'm, I'm about 20 pounds away from my goal weight, <clears throat> 20 or 25 pounds. And I've kind of started to reintroduce, um, you know, eating like at one o'clock instead of waiting until four. Um, I've kind of started to ease back into kind of a, a normal eating routine sans breakfast I can't do breakfast I just can't I, I try I, I like if I try to eat something in the morning my jaw just does not want to clamp down on things or it doesn't want to open properly I don't know what the problem is but I can't do breakfast so I eat something very small like a sliced tomato or a piece of cheese for lunch and then at four o'clock I start cooking and that's when I have dinner um, <clears throat> and then that's usually something a, a, a bit more substantial depending on the activity that I've done that day. If I've done a lot of physical activity, it'll be something a little bigger. If I haven't, then it'll be something smaller. Kind of makes sense. It's input versus output, basically. But the icorn flower, definitely take a look at that if you have the chance. Amazon does have it. Jovial has a whole line of products. I haven't tried any of them, so I cannot give you any insight. Oh, I, that's a lie. I have tried their sea salt crackers. Um, they have, it's almost like a saltine very dense I, I can eat like three of them and it's like eating a whole a whole pack of, of saltines you know the whole sleeve because mama used to do that um three of those crackers is like fills me up like eating a whole sleeve of, of, of regular saltines so um jovial they have uh pastas they have all kind they have wheat flour they have all purpose flour they have white flour um, they have all kinds of different products. Again, I've only used the flour. I cannot attest to whether this helps with weight loss. This is my first time. I'm brand new. My first day, I'm that guy. Okay? So, all right. Thank you if you've hung out this long. Thank you to our 130 best friend subscribers. And um, then we have our... Uh, our comments thank you so much I don't know what's up with the comments being turned off on yesterday no clue I don't even know how you do that I've never tried to do that I tried to look and see if there was a way to turn them off and on I see nothing so I don't know I, I need a better youtuber than I to uh, to work that out but um yes thank you to all all of the commenters and subscribers Oswald's all Oswald the is going to continue to uh, shuffle about the ladies here, I suppose. Looks like it's going to rain again, and everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.